Hey guys, back at the off-grid project early morning. Um, the reason I'm here, the door's not in yet, but um, yesterday we had a ton of rain and it was pretty insane just driving in it. And it continued through the night. So I think you guys can see a leak here. It just looks all wet there. And this is the one I showed you before at the front of the trailer. And it's coming in right in that area there. So I'm going to have to get up on the ladder when everything dries out and go and look and see what's up there. See if I can patch that up. Um, other than that though, I kind of looked around. I got my little light here, LED light. Um, just trying to see. I did look back here and found another spot. And I have to do the same here. Um, it's actually running down from the very top in behind the wood. And I think it's up there somewhere. There's the board. So there's a crack. Maybe, maybe that crack up there. Somewhere in there. But yeah, I got a, I got some patching to do or something. And yeah, it leaked down into the corner. And that's wet there. <laughs> And some of this other stuff's wet as well. All the way down in there. Um, let's see if that corner's wet. Zoom in and hold this thing so it's steady. That might look a little wet too. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm trying to focus and pull two things at once. That looks wet. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure something out. But, uh, yeah, so basically what I'm thinking, guys, is when I get the rest of these uh, two by fours up, let me jump, hop on this ladder and show you. This is the wall that's done. So up here, I think I'm gonna have them spray foam from here and wrap around and go up all the way on the ceiling of this trailer. That way it'll help with uh, with uh, controlling waterproofing and insulation. That's the nice thing about spray foam. You can, it's a lot like a waterproofer insulation vapor barrier all in one so above above the walls i'm going to go have them spray above the frame where all the metal is and wrap around and go all the way across and do it like that as well kind of like a u-shape type of deal um but yeah i'm still waiting on the door hopefully sometime this week or at the end of the week that I could get some more lumber and frame the door in. And then once that's done, I can get, I really think I'm gonna just call and pay somebody to spray foam this trailer now, just because of, uh, uh, I've never done it before and I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos on it and everything, but still. Um, yeah. So, we'll see what happens here. I got some major leaking problems to fix here. So it's the third rung. One, two, three. Third rung in. That's where the leak's coming from. Let's see here. Yeah, it is. Well, I have to figure something out to fix that but yeah we had some crazy rainstorms here just wanted to give you guys an update check on my trailer see how everything was going also um 
We do have some uh, potentially big news. I say potentially because it's not set in stone yet, but we're, we're working on it. Um, big, big news, and it's going to be concerning getting some land. So I'll, gu I'll give you guys an update, see if this uh, goes through or falls through, either way. Um, if, and once I get some land, then pretty much I can just go all out and do what I got to do. So and that means roof on, I can start capturing rainwater, putting my solar in, etc, etc. So that gives you guys an update. Uh, till next time.